So the patch is out, or rather, it came out a couple days ago, but let's pretend it just came out today. It'll explore some of these different things. Uh, I'm not gonna, I don't have like a list where I'm gonna go point by point and point by point or anything like that. I'm just gonna check out some of these new features and check out some of the used cards and UI and everything and just kind of give somewhat of a first impressions kind of thing going on. Uh, first thing, quests. Quests have been added. Now it's basically matching Hearthstone, so where you uh, you take a particular faction into a game and you win with it, and you get some extra little cheeky uh, ore here. Now the great thing about this is, is that it's not replacing the current system that's in place, so this is entirely a bonus, which is so fantastic. It would have been actually really bad if they had replaced the old system, because I think the old system is actually as good as it gets when it comes to building up your collection and just like just having an extra like half a pack a day. That's pretty freaking great. Uh, you know, I'm not going to rag on other games or anything like that, but it's Gwent is a step ahead in that aspect. Uh, there is midwinter update, of course, on my channel. Of course, I've been reviewing the cards at a fairly service level, so we won't get into that too much. Let's see. We have a holiday pack and a midwinter hunt. Let me change this music. I always have to play a little bit of music in the background or else I'd go crazy. Okay, so Midwinter Hunt. Let's check this out. All right, right into it. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> to celebrate the arrival of Midwinter, Sheep the Troll is making a special holiday bag of cakes. Oh, okay, that's... Each one will grant you 25 card cakes. Nice. One animated epic card, 40, 400 media powder. How much does it cost? Let's see. I'm looking at this. How much would I think it would be cost? Uh, $20 tops. 15 would be a solid price, and $10 would be incredible. No, wait. Yeah, 20 would be the upper limit of not great. 15 would be okay. And 10 would be nice. Let's see if that's what it's actually cost. I'm not actually going to get too much into this midwinter hunt because it's kind of pretty time consuming and it's not much to it. I mean, no, 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 there's a lot to it. I'm saying there's too much to it. That's the whole problem. All right. Oh, this is $27. Hmm. That's a bit expensive. This should probably be a legendary card, not epic. This should be like 800. This should be about 30. That seems oddly expensive considering the previous uh, sales that Gwent has done. It seems a bit on the upper end. And I was thinking like $10. Pfft. I was thinking it was kind of like a welcome home or a welcome package kind of idea where you get like a very high value for a very small price just to get people into playing it. This seems a little bit too high for me. Um, granted, I do have more or less a full collection, but even if you don't necessarily have that, even still, I would be hesitant to recommend that considering the cost. Okay. Uh, casual ranked leaderboard. What did I end up uh, leaderboard? So I played like 64. I played 80 matches, got to 46,000. Uh, it is being reset in the next couple days or so. Uh, yeah, it's just like I just played like no Gwent over the past couple weeks and significantly less in actual ranked mode. Uh, but 64 and 22, I'm re relatively proud of that. It's a pretty high win percentage, uh, considering. But otherwise, yeah, I just really didn't play ranked. I really, in Gwent, don't play ranked at all. Um, it's by far my least played. Okay, what do we got here? I don't want to go into a ranked match. I'll go right into the casual. So this is the new new UI. I'll check out this deck builder stuff later. Basically, it's kind of taking on the Hearthstone system. Like They did kind of borrow a lot from the Hearthstone system where you integrate a lot of the UI into more compact and easier to digest uh, visual design space, whatever. And I like it. Uh, a lot of people, I'm not gonna try and pair it too much about what the community has said because you can find that pretty easily on Reddit. Uh, in short, they're pretty disappointed or rather, um, they feel like they're, Gwen is going down the wrong path. Uh, but that's something for me to discover. I haven't been paying too much attention to that stuff. I've heard the concerns to a certain extent, but uh, what you'll be hearing from me is more or less a, I don't want to say original opinion. I don't want to be that stuck up, but it's not uh, an opinion that's too influenced by what other people have been saying, other than the fact that people have been upset with it. But so far, I've liked it. Okay, our first, our first match. Here we go. Also, there's probably new trinkets and the like. 
Okay, uh, like right off the bat. Oh, nice. They finally did this. They finally redid the redraw screen. Now, this is not the way I would have done it. I think this still is a little bit clunky, but it's a great step in the right direction. Oh, I love being able to see the whole screen all at once. Oh, this is so good. This is our 10 out of 10 update so far. Here we go. Get rid of this. Oh, this is so nice to be able to see the whole thing and not having to scroll back and forth. This would also be really good for like coaching and uh, just like general presentation on a video sense because when you're looking through that and you're scrolling through it, your eyes, the person who's controlling the mouse, is much more accustomed to the changes of what's going on because you know you're sending the signals to your hand and then your eyes are trained to follow it because you know what's coming. But if you're not doing that, then it's, it can be tricky. Anyway, that that's not very easy to explain, but. Uh, and another thing I noticed, like, it seems like they, like, doubled the frame rate. I could be wrong, could be totally exaggerating, but it feels a lot smoother. And the board in general, I think, has been brightened up a little bit, which is nice. And, like, see, you can see the, kind of the animations here here and there. Uh, just, like, maybe not necessarily double the frames, but they've added a lot of visual flair to it, which is so good. Alright, so the next thing I'm doing, what am I doing here? I want to get my frost out, right? We always get the frost out. He's playing a movement deck, so I guess I'll just play it on the same row. I haven't played too much, so. Oh, nice. Nice little animation. Yeah, they've added a ton of animations. I'm loving it so far. Uh, one thing that people have, even before the update have been saying is that they want to see more board identity. Like, for example, if you played Hearthstone, I'm going to be referring to Hearthstone a lot. And this also applies to Eternal and, like, Smite Tactics. But those games have a rotation of game boards. Oh, wow. Here we go. Do I take this? <laughs> if he has a couple of cold weathers, this could be really bad. But this could be really good, too. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of cards. I'm okay with giving up. I think I'll just go ahead and pass here. Let's go. This is not necessarily something I would do in ranked, but in a you know more casual setting, I'm willing to play it a little bit more loosely, go for a little bit more fun. Again, some more animations, more animations. There's a little bit of a shadow there. It's a little bit overdone, but uh, as a whole, I really am enjoying this new, I'd say visual uh, acuity. Is that the correct way to say it? Okay, this is not such a great hand. <laughs> this is really not such a great hand. I only have a single weather. Yikes. Okay. And uh, moving your, your card to the board is a lot more snappy, which is nice. There's some glow effects going on here. Looks nice. Uh, again, like this looks not great. It looks very amateurish and placeholder. I hope they change it. Uh, what was I even looking for? Yeah, just uh, the, hunt, the wild hunt hound. Oh, but man, the animations are so are so pretty. Maybe it's like relatively difficult to notice if you're not trained to look for it. But as someone who's done a lot of animation work, just kind of in general, uh, it's, it's like super apparent. It has a lot of like easy ease in and out, right? <laughs> it looks good. A lot of squash and stretch kind of uh, some principles, right? I can just steal that right over. Oh. Weird. You don't just pick the unit, you play the card and then you pick the unit? Okay. Yeah. Oh, nice. There's like a nice little arrow targeting, like the whole board glowed all at once. Oh, that's good stuff. I'm loving it. I don't know why there is so much outcry against it. I'm liking it so far. Sure, I mean, maybe it's a little bit... Uh, maybe a touch gaudy, I guess, maybe. But in general, I think it looks just fine. And again, like there's a lot of snappiness to the... The targeting. Before you kind of had to like, there would be little to no magnetic pull to cards or to rows. And now it feels like you pretty much instantly just have a right to it. Feels really nice. It's kind of hard to explain unless you're actually feeling it, but it's good stuff. What's he having in his graveyard here? Uh, yeah, every time I look at the screen, it's just like, man, this does not look very good. I 
I have so many of these horses here, man. This is not good. I need like one more wild hunt hound and one less wild hunt rider. Oh. And like maybe some things like that that effect that just went off didn't look so hot. But I think like it just it's <laughs> keeping in mind like this is kind of like a beta and they're just kind of like introducing these kind of things for the first time. Uh maybe sure it's not the best that it possibly could be in uh the context of where it exactly is right now. But I think there's a lot a lot of room to grow for it like this is a good starting point right this is or not necessarily starting point it's a little how do you explain it this is a big risk for uh, an igni here and scorch maybe i shouldn't even play it unfortunately i don't have a lot of options here Maybe I can just play Iris now and not risk my weather getting cleared because I have no other way, no other way of proccing that. Uh, but yeah, like a lot of the effects do seem somewhat placeholder, like these effects, like this shadow right here seems a little bit overdone. Um, but, oh man, yeah, there's the Igni. That's weird, it kind of like poofed into an Igni, but it didn't. Okay, there it is. Like they changed the effect of that Igni to not be the typical Scorch look, but be something different. Looks really good. <laughs> Looks fine. I'm probably gonna lose this. Even though I do have a pretty significant strength advantage, my my remaining cards are really weak. Oh, I can play another Iris though. I can play another Iris. Do that. Oh man, the great the caretaker Iris combo is so OP. If you can get it to work. And now he's, yeah, <laughs> he's out of cards to deal with me. Forgot about that combo. It's a good one. Uh, yeah, just to finish up my thought on that previous thing, uh, like, yeah, they're placeholder, but it's a very good start to having a game that has a lot of visual um, identity. Well, it may not have it now, but it's going to have it. Uh, so let's see. Let's, let's get out of this a little bit. I do want to check out the... Let's see if there's any new rewards. No, not anything, not anything like that. Maybe trinkets. I know there's a new profile picture and there's a new title. Never really cared about this. I pretty much just leave it on Dandelion. <laughs> I still don't have any of these high level ones because I never really go for it. Same with the titles. Don't really care. Okay, and we're just back to that. Yeah, I don't, I don't really care about all that stuff. Like, as you can tell, my pr current profile is just like the basic dandelion and the, wo the wooden border. Because a lot of that stuff just seems kind of lame to me. Like, <laughs> like I, I want to prove that I am capable or worthy of my rank or whatever by my play and not just by some border. So this is a new deck builder. So now they've combined the collection and the deck builder, uh, as it were. And again, like this is, it could use a little bit of tweaking. This seems a little bit not refined to the extent that, just to put it out there, just to kind of have a comparison, it's not refined to the extent that Hearthstone's at, but this is a very good step forward to getting to where they need to be. Uh, keep in mind, after all, this is open beta, and now you can argue whether or not using open beta as a a shield from criticism is, you know, it's neither here nor there. But as it is, I am glad that they have introduced it. Just kind of take a look at it. Put this in. Uh, granted, this can be a little bit difficult. Like, before you meant it was very obvious that, you know, you had four gold, you had six silvers, and you had 15 bronzes or whatever. Um... And they went and you kind of play someone's certain row. It's not necessarily because they were locked to that row. You wanted to play on the row. But it made it a very nice visual. Uh, again, like it made the, the the information very easy to digest in a visual format. Uh, this is a little bit more difficult. Especially considering the deck list is not all in one. Like one screen as like. Like you take a screenshot, right? You only have 
three quarters of the deck. You take another screenshot, then you get the other quarter. It's kind of something that duelists had, had kind of an issue with and made difficult sharing. It made it difficult to share decks. Uh, and this is kind of following along the same pattern. Let me see if I go full screen. No, I can't do full screen. Uh, I'm not even going to bother, but that's kind of an issue before you just took one screenshot, you end the entire deck and it was easily shareable in one picture. This is a little bit less so. And also a lot of these icons are kind of, nah, I guess they are kind of, I guess it's just something you got to figure out yourself. But anyway, I won't look too much into this is just, you know, it's just combining what was already there. A nice, easy, or no, it's kind of difficult to get into initially, but it's something you'll be glad is in the game by this point. Okay. All right, let's get into the next thing. Which is... Nope, did the wrong thing again. The Midwinter Hunt. <laughs> Treacherous Passage, all right. You've no doubt heard the tale of Grot Rivia, of the sorceress he bedded, the beast he slew, but not, I wager, of the phoenix he hunted, no? Not as much. For the Witcher did not like to speak of it with good reason in the game with a Carviri magnate, Michaelis Kleeman, who posted, who posted, <laughs> who posted a contract on a feast, finally, yada yada yada, sent the grace, yada yada yada. Beware of falling rocks, boulders can destroy you in the range row. Remember, Igni only charges your opponent's 25 fire power on a row. Cling, Grey Swords, and Healers heal themselves. Use this to gain the advantage. All right. Watch out! Easy to fall here. Oh, nice leader ability, Geralt Igni. That's what I like to see. Boost by six if Frost is anywhere on the board. So it's only gonna get boosted once. This is a 24 strength. Can't kill it yet. Destroy up. Oh, okay, this. I wonder if these are changed entirely, like Jang Fret, or if it's just for this game mode. Because destroying up to three damage units as opposed to what it used to be is interesting. Before, you know, you would. Like, the primary win condition of, uh, like, a Jang Fret deck would be to boost it in round one and then get your opponent to secede the round, go into round two, and bleed them out as much as possible, and go down to one card and pull a Jang Fret, win the game. Interesting. All right, so I want to put the the great sword in this frost. This is something you do a lot in the uh, against this matchup, right? Against frost matchups. Now this is a pretty easy igni, but maybe he probably has a lot more of those. So I don't necessarily need to do anything just yet. So I'll play out my second great sword. Oh wow! Okay. Alternatively, I could also use Clan Archer to hit three of these and then Jenga Fret. I'll play out my second great sword here. Wow. Duel an enemy. If it's under frost, deal double damage. Sorry, do I not want to put my great sword on this frost at all? Is that the whole, the whole thing there? So you play the card, then you target it. Oh, I guess that's so you can cancel it more easily or something. You have two opportunities to cancel your move instead of just one or something. I don't know. Okay, that's nothing special. So we'll go ahead and use Igni here on this melee because it doesn't look like he's going to play. You can target any row with Igni now? What? What? Why? That was one of the cool things about Igni is that you had to uh, place on the same row that you were going to aim it towards. It's weird. It's a really strange change. Okay, he killed another one of my great swords. I'll play out my archer. <laughs> that is a very strange change because I really enjoyed the way Aiden used to work. And now they just kind of removed it. Alright, so we'll just finish off this game here then. No more units to play. I just went this wrong. That was pretty easy, don't you think? Uh, 
Oh, it actually passed. Stay close. I don't trust witchcraft. All right. That was all right. A little bit too easy, maybe. I'm sure the more difficult version ramps up that difficulty considerably. But for now, we'll call it a day here. Yeah, it's more more of these. Uh, I believe I said this last time, but I hope the <laughs> the expansion that comes with like the single player story, whatever it is, I really hope it's not just more of these. Well, these are cool. It's like the occasional kind of free thing, you know, a bit of text to kind of introduce it, a little bit of rewards, some unique challenges. Those are really cool. Don't get me wrong, but they're pretty lackluster when it comes to if you're talking like to the a scope that I've been given the impression of this expansion. Um, but they are cool. Just maybe not necessarily something you would pay $40 for, if that makes any sense. Or, I mean, that does make sense, I'm saying. <laughs> uh, it Like, maybe I'm being unfair in that assessment. Like, I don't know. We'll see. I hope it's not just more of this. Maybe I'm hoping that those are a really good stepping stone into what they actually want to do, which is more active and engaged and interesting. And uh, maybe even just like have cut scenes with like, you know, images that have the story rolling that way. And then they introduce you into these these scenarios that basically just end up being that anyway. That'd be fine. But maybe a little bit more cohesion in the single player mission. Uh, anyway, so we'll go and play one more casual match and then we'll call it. Uh, we'll call it a holidays. This will be the last video uh, for this year and probably for a little while. Because I am taking a different, definite break from... What deck am I even playing here? What is this? Did I pick casual? What? What is this deck? Do I even have this deck? What is this? Uh, I'll just go back to control. Whatever. Yeah, this is the deck I'm really comfortable with. Uh, but yeah, I'm taking a bit of a break, not necessarily because Gwent is getting worse or anything like that, but because I don't want to get too burned out on it. Uh, I'm really afraid of getting burned out on Gwent. Uh, because I don't think I've ever played any, besides for like RuneScape or, you know, whatever multiplayer game like Call of Duty, I don't think I've ever played a card game like Gwent for as long as I have. Gwent, or, or in other words, Gwent is the longest playtime collectible card game that i've ever played even more than hearthstone and like i don't even want to play hearthstone anymore because i played that one so much and i don't want to get the same feeling from went i just kind of want to come back to it when i want to play it which is why i'm not necessarily too into um you know forcing myself to get out videos on a consistent basis wow this is a really terrible hand this is really bad you know, I'm not necessarily like uploading every day or every other day on a consistent basis. It's just kind of whenever I feel like the content that I would put out is more or less an acceptable level of quality. Or not necessarily quality, but like, I don't want to be bored when I'm playing or making videos about Gwent because I think that will show that will shine through the content. Like when you see, if you would see me ha being bored with Gwent, then you you would be bored with whatever content that I'm putting out, right? I don't want that to happen. Whenever I'm playing Gwent, I want to be because I want to, because I have something to, to show or tell or whatever. And it's kind of like, even the video that I'm making right now is kind of on the weaker side. It's not necessarily something that is uh, showcasing anything in particular. It's just like, oh yeah, it's my first impressions about this. This new update. Well, everyone can do that. What do you, what do you bring into this table specifically? And then honestly, the answer is nothing. <laughs> it's just kind of, you know, wouldn't this be fun? So this is already doing three damage a turn. This is already doing three damage a turn. So we'll use this. We'll bring out the Wild Hunt Warrior. Deal three damage. Knock out the other Imperial Golem. And now the next time I play out in Iris, I am guaranteed to proc it, which is exactly what I want. Because I'm still not entirely certain on how the target priority works. Because uh, it feels like sometimes it's like whatever's on the rightmost of the row, sometimes it's whatever's 
uh, played last. Sometimes just whatever's played first. I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. I'd rather just make sure of it. Especially when I'm in this very powerful position of going second. That's a pretty good move. He's going to be getting a lot of buffs. This is the perfect time to play the Iris. Actually, it's very much not. What am I even talking about? I just need to play a Wild Hunt Rider here on the back row. And he can't even pass on me. That's the greatest thing about this. If he passes, uh, he's going to have to face the full brunt of the weather on round three by going second. That would be tough to go for. And he would also have to go against the Iris slash Caretaker combo, which is certainly not something you'd want to have to go up against. Now, my weather is only going to be doing two damage a turn. That's totally fine. We just play out a third Wild Hunt Rider. Now, this, uh, this person I'm playing against is very unlikely to be playing any Igni or Scorches whatsoever, so we should be pretty safe. Oh, that's a new card. I forgot about that. There's a lot of there's a whole bunch of new cards in this game, right? Uh, but I don't really care about that. I was pretty sure that most of the cards in the game weren't actually going to change too much, so I wasn't too worried about, uh, you know, extensively covering them or whatever. Now is a great time to play I don't iris while well, we can still oh wow they get buffed even even by an iris huh that's unfortunate this is a really good opportunity to use iris now i can go right into the caretaker combo and utilize the weather that i have on the board this is that that slave infantry combo that i was kind of talking about before being able to play i uh, even if it's only nine strength the base by placing three on each and every row you gain a lot of synergies off of that now we're going to caretaker play out the iris and this one, hopefully, because of the last unit played, it's going to proc, and it doesn't. Ah. Damn, <laughs> that is bad. Now, if he wanted to punish me, he would just stop here and pass the round. That's what I would do if I was him. Get me to go one card down and to waste Iris, but he's not, which is probably a mistake. Just great. Oh, wow. Oh, Maltris. That's a little bit unfortunate. Don't have anything in the graveyard worth taking. I do not. I'll go ahead and play out this Arch Driven. Even if it doesn't have any targets. Oh, no. <laughs> and Iris is still not going to be killed. Man, what is this deck that I'm going up against? It's going to annihilate me. This is a new meta deck. I'm getting destroyed. It's really good. Like, this seems like a deck that Swim came up with, <laughs> if I'm honest. I wouldn't be surprised if I went to Swim's video feed and this exact deck was there. Not to say that this person is a, like a bland net deck or anything like that, but, you know, Swim is a very influential member of the community, and he has a way with, uh, damn unlucky, inspiring the community to do some pretty crazy things. Oh, this is bad. All right, so let's move something to the range row. Uh, destroy one of these. Oh, use up the weather. Oh, he should just pass on me. If he passes on me, it'll be so good for him. Yep. You know, lucky. I'm so bad. Oh, I'm so bad. I didn't even factor the fact that my weather would be used up there. All right, someone just caught there. I just got completely annihilated by a deck I was completely unfamiliar with, and I was not able to keep up. Also, I didn't draw into any of my crowns or anything. That was kind of unfortunate. But also, maybe I probably shouldn't have played so far into that round with an Iris I was never going to give value. <laughs> Yikes. That's the new patch in Gwent. Uh, covered the UI, covered the new... Game mode, or not game mode, but new adventure. Cover the cards and the update. And I think that's a that's a year, man. That's 2017. It's crazy. Like I started this channel back almost one year ago. Less, no, yeah, a little bit less than a year ago. I went from Smite Tactics to Eternal to Atlas Reactor. Maybe there's a little bit of Duelist in there, and not a Gwent. What's it going to be next year? Probably Gwent. <laughs> Gwent is going to probably be the only card game they're going to be playing uh, next year, because I pretty much officially quit Hearthstone over this past expansion. Yeah, that's Gwent. That's it, man. 
a whole another year coming in. It's crazy. Thanks for watching.